Okay. Okay. So, um, you once mentioned about your childhood dream was to be a movie director. Did you? Yes, that's true. Uh, my first dream when I was a child is uh, to be a movie director. Okay. By, by the, the, the movie director. So, by the way, uh, according with the the study in France, I cannot reach this uh, this type of education. So it was a shame because uh, I love the the cinema and the way to do the cinema. Uh, because uh, as you see, the, the cinema is is complete. Uh, so uh, you have the the storyboard, you have uh, uh, the music, you you have the actors, you have the decor and uh, you have the light. So what I should do if I cannot be a movie director? And the second, and I love also to design. So I was thinking the, to be an interior designer, I can do another way what normally a movie director is doing. As I explained on the interior design, the scope of work, is the, the storyboard. What okay. type of work. And, and the same for all of the, the people who's, because we are not alone when we're doing uh, interior design, we are a team. That's why we see the really uh, rich design language, like movies in your work. <laughs> we see uh, like classic drama, modern, yes. and also uh, with time travel. So, uh, but do you think, is that really uh, behind your personal taste? In fact, the design? No, I think, uh, I say no, who knows exactly, but uh, um, normally when I'm doing the design, I never design for myself, for my personal taste. I'm designing for the owners, my clients. And for example, if it's a hospitality business, I'm designing for the guests. Never forget who, at the end, when you finish your hotel, uh, when you open the door of the new hotel, is a guest. If the guests is comfortable, if they think it's nice, they will come back. So, uh, as I said, I'm designing for the owner first, my clients, and for the guests, never for myself. Okay. You also said that people, uh, if people come to the hotel you designed, or, uh, or residence, if they feel comfortable even one day or one hour, you will feel happy already, right? Yes, that is a goal. This is what we want to achieve. It's, you know, when, when the owners choose a designer, it's a, it's a lot of, it's a, it's a big decision because behind that uh, is a budget, money, and also the goal is, is a guest. So any times, as you said, if one hour the guests feel comfortable, I'm very pleased because I did my job properly. Okay, I mean, Mr. Rohung, uh, he's very humble, actually. You will be called master of Grand Lux in the design uh, industry already. So do you agree with this label? And what's the personal uh, traits have you helped you to achieve this success? Although you said you are achieving, but we, we told everyone's thing here, you are already the must, master designer. Thank you for that. Maybe I'm master because it's my age. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, maybe it's a part of the, of the master, anyway. Uh, and of course, you are always pleased when you listen to us. But uh, what is the way to achieve the success? Uh, the first is respectfulness. That means you should be humble. You need to to understand what you you are going to do. Uh, to understand the story, uh, what kind of hotel uh, you are going to do. And for sure, uh, when we to reach that is the first part of the design, and also the curiosity. What means the curiosity is for everyone? Uh, when you do a, an hotel 
and the mountain or in a hotel in a city, you should be curious. What is the life there? What is the component of the city? What is the component of the architecture? So all this type, curiosity, thinking, respects, all of this maybe give you that this is the way we, have, um, we achieve what you said on your side, the success. Yeah, I totally agree with like uh, what you also said. You think luxury is not gold. Luxury uh, is 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 a living and is appreciation. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. That that is really what I think, because you know, and uh, that is a message, especially on this world, on, on the media, who everything's uh, the value doesn't change, but it's true. This is why I always said. Gold is not luxury, it's true, it's, it's really true. It, the luxury is the way you live, the, the quality of the way you live. I think this quality of the way you live, that is a luxury, more than to be gold. True. Okay, also you and your team uh, all have the very deep academic depths of classical art. And you have uh, obtained uh, many opportunities to transform and also design the uh, landmark historical buildings. Uh, you know, is, it, is this related to your academic background? Yes, um, I think first when the, we are lucky in Europe because we have a lot of history between us, more than a thousand years. And when you live on your home, mostly the French, or European people, at home you have a furniture, you have painting, you have art from the past. So you live with the culture. That's the first things. And after that, I studied at the Bosa School. And again, the Bosa the School gave me the background of the classical. And for the young generation, I, I deeply say to them, please study the classical. You know, it's exactly the example of the, the people who are doing piano. If not, he played every day, which is in French again. He doesn't learn the music, he will be not a good musician. So I think the, the background of the classical helps us. And after that, when you have this background, you can do what you want. Yeah, and I think the classical is not really only limited to design, to architecture, maybe it's to music, to arts, and to, to, uh, to all the parts of really enrich our life. But I don't, don't know if I understand clearly your question, but uh, when, I said, when we, you said uh, we did a lot of uh, renovation of Iconic Hotel, uh, again, uh, when we do that, we should be very humble because this Iconic Hotel have a past, they have an history, and it's so easy to destroy when you don't know what you're doing. So uh, we, we need to do the research like an historian, you know, that means okay. uh, you need to check that, to do that, uh, to do properly after that. I see. So regarding the classic renovation and the restoration, uh, how does uh, this, how does the perspective of a hotel designer uh, compare with the historian? I just, uh, I tried to, to say that, uh, anyway, it's, uh, it's modern, classic, it, it, any type of uh, design, you should do it. You need to think first. You need to study. So especially, uh, on your question, uh, like an history, I, I can tell you a, a small story. When I did the four season in Florence, in Italy, in Firenze, uh, it, the, um, the building was a, a beautiful palace of the, the Medici family of the 15th century. And that uh, building, at the same time, was listed. So, before to take the pen and or dream, you need to know 
what is Florence? What was, on the 15th century, this palace? You need to learn that. You need, so this is, you be like an historian. So uh, that I think there is a complementarity. The first, yes, uh, the designer can be like an historian because it's a part of the life. Um, and it was very interesting. I can speak for one hour about this, this project and uh, an explication of uh, all the details. Maybe one time it would be interesting to tell you. Of course, what we're going to have a separate session to discuss this project because I had the honor to stay in that property. Yes. Okay. So, uh, okay, let's move to the next session about your major design. I think everyone here will be very interesting for this part. So we'll pro to better have our audience to understand your project, we actually, these our team have prepared the uh, slides. So I think our people, okay. uh, friends can hear to uh, combine with our conversation. So PYR's elegant timeless design is impressive. How has this form? took in shape is all in unique style over the last 40 years. You know, uh, the first on the beginning of 40 years, because you, you said 40 years ago is true. Uh, I was thinking the way to do my design. And uh, I said, I will be never on the fashion. That's number one. Uh, number two, uh, we try to do always a different design because sometimes the designer design always the same design. So with that and my experience, this is why today uh, our uh, design, especially on the hospitality is timeless because we are not on the fashion. I'm not interesting by the fashion. I'm just interesting to be right, to design properly the project they give to us. Okay, I, I remember actually uh, uh, one of the really famous uh, Chinese influence designer, uh, Ian Pei. Actually, he, he said he said every de uh, every design can last its essence. It's not transition or fashion. I think you know him very well. So yes, uh, and uh, it was one uh, uh, lucky in my um, my life to meet and to work with Mr. Pei. He was a great gentleman, and of course, yeah. a great architect, definitely. And he was always nice, very humble too. Uh, I, I really uh, respect to him. Okay. To, to better to have our audience understand, we just discuss Mr. Bei Yuming, okay. Um, yeah. For next question is, because we all know you have a lot of uh, uh, signatures and also flagship properties uh, for Four Seasons. So there's one we must bring it up is Four Seasons Hotel George V in Paris. It's all well known projects of use. Um, as we all discussed before, it's not all the designers can do in the restoration projects. But how, how can this delegation and the interest to you for this project? We are very curious about You know, it. Uh, as you said, the, uh, the, the Georges Saint until today is part of my life. Uh, I was shoes by uh, designer as a Prince Al Walid and Mr. Isidore Sharp on the competition of seven designers. So never forget that from the beginning, uh, they interview seven designers and, and again, they choose me. And uh, it was a really a, a challenge uh, to do this renovation because this hotel was very old, very tired and we, and it was the first time four season is coming to Europe. So that was also the message. We are in Paris. It's an iconic classical hotel, but it's the first time four season brand is in Paris and uh, coming and mostly in, in, uh, in Europe also. So that, that was a big challenging and I, and I tried to design uh, keep the past 
uh, the, the, the story, but bring the new life. And this is what we try to, to doing until today. Uh, you can see on the screen, this is a swimming pool. You can see it's a modern art, it's a mixture, but the message, uh, we know we are in Paris, and uh, it's a classical hotel on us, Prince Alwalid and Mr. Sharp want a French classical because when you come into Paris, you should know we are in Paris. So that's the way we try. And this is a suite, and you can see the suite on the screen right now. This suite is a class, the background, the wall is classic, but some furniture is more contemporary, and the color scheme is, is beige, white. So that's the modernity. The, the art also is modern on the, uh, on the classic French. So that means you can combine, and this is maybe the success of the Georges V. Of course, the service, the, the quality of the, the, the ground, and uh, first is, is, is force, is on, is a ground first. And after that is maybe PYR design. I totally agree with what you just mentioned about the real design is not like when you wake up, you feel, you know, all the room are the same. You don't know where are you. So yeah. from Four Seasons, uh, Paris, I think this is definitely the signature hotel. This is really with atmosphere and also the elements, which is a strong France, yeah. strong France feeling. Yes. Okay. So um, we we know you actually work with for see a lot of projects but you know when we talk about it, you can't take away from your credits with all the middle east uh for Seasons hotels like uh, the doha hotel is uh, gonna reopen soon right so now it's uh under the renovation so do you mind if highlight a few uh points for the new features uh, compared with before you know, and after yes as i explained for every project, for me, is unique. So, when I, I came to Doha, and I saw that the, the forces on Doha, uh, they have a, a past, and a good image in Doha. The only thing, he was tired, because the design was did by Frank Nicholson 20 years ago. And I decide I want, I'm not going to destroy the past. I'm going to keep the beauty of this hotel and, and take off just the thing is too old and do a new life. So that means, and also for my client, the, the, the client was very proud what he did 20 years ago. And the name of the hotel repetition is there. So for the designer, it's more difficult because it's a reputation. It was the best hotel in Doha. But today, 20 years ago, a new competition. So we need to invent a new life of the, of the hotel in Doha. That's the spirit, as you explained. And after that, I tried because the client like a classical style. So I'm listening. So I, I try to, un to interpret the, the spirit classical and especially in the competition, mostly the, the new hotel in Doha, they are contemporary. And, and for us, I, we try to keep the, the idea and the DNA, sorry, of the four season Doha and inject the new life. And for example, we, we doing now a new green house uh, going to uh, it will be uh, finished soon. So, so at the end, it, it is a good balance between the existing, the historical, and the future. So, as you can see, design is a lot of reflection. Design is to respect. Design is to be humble. Design to be sure to get the success because. When you do a renovation, it's very easy to destroy the past of the, the, the hotel. Okay, so uh, apart from Doha, actually, you have a lot of projects in Middle East. We know uh, the most famous to oversee the Bahrain Bay, which is in uh, uh, Namana. So uh, 
I re recall in 2015, actually, Denver already featured this project. Yeah. So yeah. also, you, you have property in Damascus and in Peru, in Alexander. I think if I would like to con um, conclude all this project, they uh, all bring the cultures to a modern hotels project. However, you definitely show the respect to the religious city violation. So you see, this part is really important. Mm. Yes, um, you, the fourth is on uh, Bahrain, and you explain some of other projects on the Middle East. You need to know where you are. But as you can see, the difference between the renovation, uh, the picture you show before the Doha, or the owner wants to be more classical, the picture you show on the uh, Bahrain is more contemporary with a flavor of the 30s because that was the idea also from the owner that they want to translate that. So always I try to be following uh, the country and, and, and the, uh, what the owner asked me to do uh, for this guest and, and also if you are in the Middle East you need to have a touch of the Middle East. Uh, do you want me to comment what I can see now, or or, or you want to me to stay on the first? You know, answer? every time when I when I start a topic, I can't you know I can't interrupt you because I I won't be a listener. So anyway, let's go to this picture. It's actually is in the Maghreb, right? Also in France, it's gay property. This the, the what we see now is. A, is the four season in Mejev. Yeah. And uh, that was, so is a mountain. So I, as you can see, you are in the mountains. By the way, we designed the table with the birds, uh, mm -hmm. and the, you know, and the beautiful the view. Actually, I heard it's, this is the first four seasons mountain, um, mountain we, resource, right? Yes, 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 Grace, this is right. And, and that, that's the, is the spa. Uh, again, it was very interesting because the owner is Ariane de Rothschild, who is a very famous uh, family, very rich family. And the, the first project they have in Negev, it was on the 20s so, and the 30s. So I, I tried to, to, to take also that uh, for me sometimes, uh, if you saw the picture, you have especially the swimming pool, we tried to to take some components of some design from this period. Uh, as Yes, you see, this is a swimming pool with opening an, an, an outdoor, but the, the, the design is uh, with the, uh, some touch is from the, the family period of, on the 20s. And uh, so every project, it should be according with owners or the scope. Yeah, I I remember there is the book talk about four pillars about four season brand is quality, uh, service, culture, and a brand. I think yeah. Mr. Sharp already defined this in 1986. So I think you you are the one definitely to help him to really better to uh, showing and also uh, to to. Uh, to, to really practice this part, mm. especially for the quality and also um, with, the, with the brand and the culture as you well. Know, you, you know, uh, I hope I understand your question, Grace. Um, you need to respect also the brand mm. and the spirit of the brand. If I'm a guest, I want to go on a hotel, I said, I'm going to Four Seasons, for example. It can be for Wisconsin, the same for it, anyone. My, my work as a designer, I hope when the guests arrive it's a, and leave there, they say, oh, this is four season. Oh, for sure, it's four season for the services, for the, but the design, the spirit, the light, the quality of the furniture, the quality of the design, it should be four season too. So, so that is a very important for me. Yeah, that should. On the I, I never, it's really important. As I say on the first question, I never designed for myself. Okay, cool. Um, let's move our angles to China. Uh, yes. We all know the flagship property for Peninsula, Shanghai, and also uh, 
risk out and changing all designed by you. So yes. uh, people will feel curious about how you combine your European style and also with the Chinese traditional design. Yeah. The first thing, as, as you can see, is two hotels in, in China, mostly at the same time, changing a little, little bit later, and it's two different worlds. Why? First, owner. Two, architecture. I can take the example. For, for example, now we, you, you can see a changing. Changing was a, a very uh, uh, classic uh, brick building from uh, the former British occupied area. So I said when I'm arrived there, I'm going to, to translate the English, the British style with, English, with Chinese flavor. So this is why, as you can see, you have, the, for example, this picture is, is classical, but at the same time you have the blue, uh, the, the, the yellow Chinese pot. Sometimes, sometimes you have the screen, sometimes you have the furniture. So that means, and we know uh, in Europe, between Europe and China, uh, uh, for example, in France, Louis XIV, our king, very famous uh, uh, king, was very good relation with the Chinese ambassador at that time. So this is why on our furniture, we have the Chinese, uh, you know, design sometimes, we have all the porcelain and this. So that means for this project with the Tianjin, you can see now, it was classical and French and European English style matching with the Chinese touch. That was the scope of work because the building and the location told me you should do that. Because imagine if you do a very yeah. contemporary, a, a very contemporary design with a classic building it doesn't work for me. Peninsula Shanghai, look, is another word. Is a word of a family from Hong Kong, the Mr. Uh, Mr. Kaduri family, and there was in in China on the 30s. So they commissioned the architects to do the architecture from the 30s inspiration. And all my inspiration inside, again, is the 30s. Look, the, the chandelier 30s, the, the, the ceiling is a 30s style. But we keep the spirit of the brand Peninsula. When you come into the Peninsula, you have always this big lobby where you can have your high tea. So, you know, design is this to mix what the owner wants what the brand wants and the spirit and the style and that's we we did for this one looks this is a certis but you have the chinese touches always because we are in shanghai we are not uh, in paris or in london so the guests should say and especially in shanghai because the period of the 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 certis in shanghai was very very unique design and until now on the band you have so many uh, architecture from the 30s the the bar on the top that should be but you know on the right you have the the the, the chinese porcelain blue and white that is a, we commission a, a, a chinese artist to be more contemporary more modern so also that sometimes we we can do the between the past and the future the first idea was to put the Chinese classical blue and white, but that time I said no. With the art consultants, I want a modern way for the Chinese to do. This is why you have that. And this picture is, a, is the historical between, because on the 30s, uh, you have a route between America and China and, and Europe and China. It was a lot of traffic. This is why you, had, you see the boat and all the history about this time, this period of China between Europe and, and also uh, the, with the American. So behind the design, whether you like or not, you have, I have all this story. I hope I'm, I translate perfectly. It's not just to do a box with a bed, it's what is the way to do. And, and that time also, as you know, Peninsula is a very strong brand, a design, beautiful bathroom, walking dressing, the shape of the room, 
all that help uh, the success of the hotel is the spirit of the brand, the indication of the brand, the, the dream from the client and also from the designer. And, and I try to translate all of this. You see the walk-in dressing, you see the, the, the bathroom was, was very nice. By the way, and on, the, on this bath stop, and, and this is now the swimming pool, you, you can see. And but again, it was always the spirit, the design was 30s. What was Shanghai in the 30s? So the guests when and sometimes I was surprised the people was thinking I did the renovation. It was an old hotel. It's not true. It was completely a new hotel. Yeah, I actually yes. stayed in uh, Peninsula Shanghai two months before. Yes. And still very well maintained. As you, you talk about the afternoon tea, it's still, you yes. know, yes. even we are in the social distance, but afternoon tea is still packed. So I think yes. you must be really proud about this project. This true. Thank you. But, but also is thank you, Mr. Kadori, because uh, I want to say some things. Who is really what I think? The success of the project is because we have honors. Okay. Without honors, that project will never successful. Is the quality of the honors and the confidence between the honors and the designers together give this uh, type of design with successful. Okay, we we'll hope we we'll hope you can come back soon to stay in Peninsula Shanghai. <laughs> Yes, I, I hope so too. I, I like it <laughs> anyway. Okay. Yes. Next time we don't need to do Zoom. We can have a face conversation in Peninsula Shanghai. Right? <laughs> yes, I, I hope so. It will okay. be much easier. Sure. Yeah. sure. Uh, we talk about a lot of uh, hotels design or yours. Yes. So also, you know, everyone knows you are really uh, did a many uh, uh, many uh, signatures residence project. It's like the one I'm gonna bring up is in a jig signature in Miami, this project. Yeah. As yes. we, we all know, Miami is really competitive with many resorts, hotels, and residents, even across all of Florida region. And um, how, how, do how does the interior design help the owners to create unique offering with Hello. competition? If you speak about the J signature in Miami, um, I know the owner uh, before because I did the private residence for them. When they decide to, because they are the developers, so when they, they decide to do this new project, which is a fantastic project with Erzo de Demeron, is a Swiss architect. And as you can see, uh, what they did is fantastic. It's a beautiful uh, work. And I was very pleased because it's, these people, they are the architect, they are very contemporary. And of course, when, when they saw my book and, and they said, oh, PYR design George Shank is going to destroy the J signature. It's not true uh, because everybody forget I was young. And when I was young, uh, I worked with Oscar Nemeyer, who is uh, one of the best architects in Brazil and very contemporary design, and I love the, 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 uh, the contemporary design too. And that time, it was a good combination I explained to you. The architecture is unique, as you said, and is what good challenge for the owners, or the developer, because all the facade is in concrete and paint white, is not, you know, like uh, all the time, aluminum and glass, is it was completely new uh, architecture, and very nice because you, the way they design the architecture, the weave, you can see everywhere. But on the other hand, um, they was afraid it's, it's too cold. So they asked me to be the balance between, for, the, for inside. And also, on this, it was on this time, the tower, they have a podium. And what you see now is a podium. Podium, it's three level where you give uh, facilities for, for the customer who live on the tower. So my job was first to design with the owners, with the ladies, uh, Mrs. De, de Fortuna, Anna Cristina de Fortuna, 140 different type of apartments. Because again, the way to live inside, uh, that, that is the job of the interior designer. That's number one. So we design all of this. And after that, 
a public space where the customer can enjoy. For example, what you see here is a lounge. Uh, at the end, you have a, a, a cook area, a kitchen, so you can do, uh, you can invite the, your guests there and have a chef to cook. And that's to, at the same time to respect the architecture. So between the, I try to bring from outside the architecture inside. And maybe on the slide, you, you can see that. Okay. So it was, it was really a combination between the respect of the architecture and the, yes. Okay. That's, uh, I think uh, I was very lucky and very pleased to do this uh, beautiful building with uh, the great architects. Perfect. So can you give us a little bit more information about your craft project, Le Cap in Hong Kong? Ah, the Cap in Hong Kong also is, is a spirit, is a success between owners and designer. Uh, Mr. Chen, is, who is the, is the owner of the, the, this project, loved France, south of France, and loved to come to Saint Jean Cap Ferrand. And also, at the same time, always when he came to Saint Jean Cap Ferrand, he stayed one of the hotels I redesigned, is the Grand Hotel de Saint Jean Cap Ferrand, who is now is a four season. Okay. And he loved this. He loved this hotel. So he said, I want to know Mr. Rochon, but by the way, he told me when he came to me, I know all your projects, blah, 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 and I like this and so on and so And I, the picture you can see here, I tried, I was not only designer, I was the advice of uh, the owner for the, the landscape. I find the name, Le Cap, uh, the way to design the, the, the wall and all the, the choice of the plants, the flower, to, to bring the flavor uh, from south of France on this new property uh, and I think it was uh, quite successful and we we help also the design of the facade so we bring some flavor yes you know the door the small entrance all of, of this is our design so the way to lie to live a different way to live in Hong Kong I hope so that was the dream for Mr. Shen and myself I see so, but you have office in Paris and in Chicago. How, how would like to control all the construction standard all over the world? You know, uh, yes, uh, we have two offices, Paris and Chicago. And uh, normally when we work around the world, we cannot be everywhere uh, for, for, for sure. And for, for, for this, uh, we work with the local architects, uh, local designers, so for example, in Hong Kong, we have the local architects and local de designers uh, to work with them. And in China, we have our own uh, designers so to be with the high in China. In, yes, they are in charge. We have a director of the design in China to, to, to work uh, with us. But the rest of the world, we we work with different architects, with different designers, because you cannot do anything. But not only that, every country you have the special law. Uh, for example, in America, we uh, between uh, uh, California or New York is not the same rule sometimes. From Paris, I cannot do that. So this is why you need to, to work with some architects. And designer, it does happen all the time without with success, without any problem. Okay, so we we've been discussed a lot of uh, uh, the profession said about you. So as an entrepreneur, uh, how how would I to manage the PY, uh, PYR related to on your person uh, personal leadership uh, to maintain the streets? No. Uh, I'm I'm not managing my company myself. I have two, two managing directors, one in Chicago, one in Paris. And Paris is, uh, is working with me mostly 35 years together. And, and Chicago now is more than uh, 10 years. So they manage the, the office. You cannot do everything. But by the way, myself, I'm, the, I'm working for, for the design. And all the design, I'm the designer. So, and of course, I have... Uh, design director in Paris and Chicago. After that, well, I work with them, but I still in charge of 
the design because it's my life, it's my name. I rem remember uh, one of the interview you mentioned about you have Stefan and uh, he is good at architect and he has a view of volume, has space, also contemporary design. And also you have another left hand is Claire and she is interior designer and the uh, uh, classic fabric is all her strings. So you work both with, with both of them, I think more than 20 years. Is, are they still there? Yes, they're wow. still there. I think they still happy <laughs> and like what they're doing. Yes, for, for, yes, for sure, they, um, everybody's still there. Mm -hmm. And this is nice, uh, um, you know, uh, we have different components. Some, some people, they are more architects, for example, Stefan, we love the more contemporary design is an architect. Claire is a designer. She's more classical. It's good to mix uh, different uh, type of um, uh, people. That's, that's the, rich, the richness of my company. We are French. We are, uh, but not only French. We are, of course, American. This is true. But uh, we, we have different, uh, we have the, the Korean people. We have, you know, it's, it's not only just a French company or American company. Is uh, we have a Dutch, we have different type of people, and this is the richness of the company. And, and you need to listen and to to take all of these uh, different personality. And this is maybe what's uh, at the end is successful of the company. Yeah, I think uh, you mentioned about Karen Gore. Her name is Jun Su, right? You you, you yes, talk about. Yeah, Yes. I have good memory, right? <laughs> yes, Jung Su is very nice, and uh, and we I hope we we study uh, I cannot say more uh, a very contemporary project in China. Cross the finger. I hope we are going to work on this project because Jung Su, uh, uh, the background of Jung Su uh, is, is is an architect and, and contemporary design, and I like so uh, and and I challenge her because. The, me too. I love one is very clean, very modern. So this is the message is for anyone. Open your eyes. Listen. Uh, try different design. Don't be just why, uh, one thing. And this is a this is fantastic on my life because you saw different type of project. But this is what I decide. But this, by the way, it's, it's very complicated because. Um, if you do a very classical, as we explained before, you know that you need, you need to learn the background. You, as you said, you, you'll be like an historian. If you do contemporary design, it's not easy too, because it's the future, it's difference. So that's the talent and the way to, so that means this is what is interesting in, in, in our office. We are different type of people and and sometimes we choose uh, the, the subject and the people who are going director. Uh, we, we work on the project according what the, they are. But myself, I like every type of design. And I'm always curious to do something different. I think your office is like a multicultural society. Yes. Because you also have Alexander and she's British, right? But she's yes. working in the US. Yes. Yeah, and, and she, you mentioned about that she is good at uh, soft outfit design, so she has a good eyes to choose the furniture, right? Yes, that was, again, uh, when uh, Alexandra uh, joined us, I was very pleased because she's British. British, she's not French, as you know. She's not American, as you know, too. And that's nice. The, her experience on the FFNE, it's good for for us to, and also when I'm I speaking to her, uh, it's different than when I'm speaking to Jung Su, for example. Yeah, it's, you know, it's two different personality, but both personality are talents, and I respect both of them. This is really interesting. Actually, it's already bring me next question. So my question is, how does the uh, furniture, fixture, and also equipment uh, complement works uh, of the interior designs for each department? You, you know, um, normally, 
myself what I think any designer should do everything. But uh, it's, not the, uh, it's not the case when you need to divide the people who are doing FFE, the people on the office. Uh, I divide the people who are doing the conceptual design with me, the people who are doing the design developments, and the people who are doing the FFE. FFE is, a, is an importance because the FFE is, a, is what you're going to see at the end. So, on the conceptual now, the more and more, I like to have the people who are working on the FFE with me on this conceptual. To be sure, at the end, when they're doing the, the, uh, the, the FFE, they don't dis destroy or, or change the spirit of the conceptual design. So, uh, this is the way to, to work. But normally, any designer should capable to do conceptual, design development, uh, following the job on the site and specify the FFE. That's when you do that, you are really a designer. But I do understand as a big company, you need to divide. But that means somebody who is doing FFE can tomorrow do the conceptual if they want. Uh, you know, it's, uh, and this is why the, uh, at the end, the, the, the project, the, the quality project is there. I don't know if I explain myself clearly. So, for you, more than 40 years experience, you work with different clients. So, what's your secret to maintain a relationship with them? We should tell them, uh, ask them, not, but, you know, <laughs> uh, no, it's true, but uh, that's true. Uh, for example, I designed 40 years ago, my one of my first projects, the Château des Crayères in Reims, in France. And until today, I'm working with the family. So what means is again, is the first, and, and that is a message also for, it is the confidence between the people. Uh, as I said uh, during the, the interview, uh, remember, in, uh, I said sometimes the success of the, um, the project is the owners. It's true. And the designers. So it's the relationship and the confidence, I say confidence, between owners and designers. If both feel comfortable, if I'm listening, if I'm doing what they, they dream, what they want properly, and if they give me the possibility the confidence to do it, this is why maybe the relationship still exists for all, so many of them. So I can believe you must have massive, I will repeat clients to come to work with you with, you know, not only one project, right? I, I said, I trust that you have a lot of repeat clients, work many projects, one by one for you, with you. Yes. Okay. So if you ha both have any disagreement, how, yes. how did you solve that? Alors, if we have, that's a pence also. It can be a pence. Who I think is a shame because normally I hope it's not me. But anyway, we have two to, to live together for, for during the project. And, uh, and that's happened sometimes. If the disagreement is, is some of the design, uh, I can listen in and I, I try to, to change and, and, and try to, to help uh, the disagreements. Uh, and, uh, and sometimes that's happened. Sometimes it's because we don't have time to speak in each other properly. So that happens and it can be resolved. If the disagreement still for any reason I'm leaving because I don't think it's nice to as I explained before if we have no confidence if I feel uh, the client the owner have no confidence to us to my company anymore why we should still uh, force to work is not good for him is not good for the project is not good for us but I can tell you it was very few times. Mostly 
the relationship uh, is is very good as you mentioned because as 40 years i still have a client today working with me maybe you became the friends with them a friend is another word <laughs> i don't know uh, 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 maybe i'm going to surprise you but uh, i don't know if uh, we can be friend because client is client designer is designer that's that's my way i respect uh, i uh, but really friend i don't know if it's good okay so, so when we talk about this then i bring you to china the reason i'm asked about the friends is uh, you actually dealing with i mean maybe thousands of clients from all over the world now you have more projects in china and in asia so what's the difference when with the european and also uh the clients from the united states uh, i think the first thing the difference uh, for every project is, is not between china and the rest of the world it, it is the way uh, you know uh, is the way uh, the project is going i can explain to you the project in miami is a couple Ms. Edgardo and Anna Cristina de Fortuna is a couple. So, my relationship on the project with this project is not the same with the project in China. Why? Because in China, normally, I am not have a, a couple in front of me. I have a company with a chairman and different people. So, so as you see, is another way to work. It's not because it's in China. It's, it's the way uh, the, the component of the, the project. I think, for example, I'm going maybe to do an, an, a project in China with the client is from Taipei and have a, a meeting, a video, video conference meeting with the ladies, with the wife of the chairman. Would, would be, again, it will be a couple. So she wants a good relationship between the designer and herself. So, so my question, my answer is, is not is because Chennai today, it's more a group of people, a company with the chairman, the people. So that's true, it's different. But at the end, the result is the same thing, you know? And so I don't think it's a, it, each, project as i told you before owner is so important when i'm working with the georges in paris and the prince al walid from saudi you cannot talk with the prince uh, al walid from saudi the same way you are talking with Chama. you know it, it depends the country it depends the, this so that's my job to to understand and 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 try to translate and do my, my job properly because at the end uh, the, the result is the same. Um, always make an example. For example, on the lighting, the lighting you have a tube, a fluorescent tube. If I'm working around the world with the Japanese, the Chinese engineer, the American engineer, the European engineer the lead the tube is still the same yeah it's just the way it's just the way to to work uh, to to speak but at the end it's the same thing i don't know if, if you want you see I what that, i want yeah i think the fundamental is still based on the mutual and understanding and the respect yes i think so cool think. uh we already dragged you almost to two hours <laughs> Uh, to, yeah, yeah, including that before oh, I, one hour. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go to our la last questions. So, what's the inspiration has this COVID nineteen pandemic brought to you? So, I think this is actually face to everyone. You know, that is a, the the last question is the is the la and the sad question. <laughs> anyway. Uh, is a life and we uh, and uh, the first thing i don't know for you but i was never thinking that's happened on my life to to live in this period around the world 
uh, is sad because you don't know the enemy. The enemy is COVID-19, but you don't know him. You don't know the way he's going to do. So it, this is very difficult. So the first thing we, uh, we, we can say, uh, we will work differently for the future. Not completely, but differently. For example, today, uh, I'm in Brittany. I'm not in my office in Paris. Maybe in the office in Paris, we, we have not this problem, technical problem before, I don't know. But, uh, it, it, but we can continue to work. So the first thing we, uh, the, the COVID-19, we, we can say maybe is another way to live. Maybe is another way to work. So as a designer, maybe is another way to design. I can take an example. Um, right now, uh, but not, I'm doing a renovation, uh, apartments, residential. So when you're doing a residential, um, before the, the, the residential change, uh, uh, during the, with hospitality, it, it was, we, we checked both of these, but today on the residential, we need to design a place or an area where you can work to do the telework before when you do, uh, I do remember um, a long time ago, I, uh, I designing for the residential uh, a library or, or office. And the people say, why, 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 why we, we need an office? We don't need an office anymore because now we, we play with the iPad and we can go. We, we don't need this way to work. We, we not receive the people at home to work. Okay. So the office disappear of the residential. But today, for example, my, uh, my client in Miami, I, I, I spoke with them uh, two weeks ago and I said, Mr. Rochon, I'm so glad when you did our house in Miami, you did for Edgardo a beautiful library. Because now he's doing all his work a telework from this library and we we edgardo do understand now is another way to live so as you can see uh, this covid 19 we changed that is but that's one thing but after that of course we can speak about for example in in, in, in europe and especially in france if you go to, if you go to travel you don't need to take plane if it's three hours, less than three hours. We have a very good t uh, uh, you know, train, speed train. So now we are not, that's completely new. Before we, you, we take the plane everywhere and oh, that changed. So that means, and for us designer, we are going to, to, to change the way to, to work and, and to propose to our client, I'm sure. It's the beginning only today. Yeah, I think after the first phase of Dominic by the stress, fear, and also unsafety, we have all reached relatively a more balance uh, from physically to organic, nature, proper, or even less present to status. So uh, as what you said, comfortable is a big thing for us now. Yeah. So we will, we will yeah, see. So, Today, uh, yes, Mr. Roshan. Sorry, yes, uh, to, to, the, to say something at the end of this sad question, uh, I hope we are going to, to find, a, we say, vaccine, I don't know in English the, the word, uh, very soon. So because I would love back to go to the Peninsula Shanghai, I will do a three time <laughs> two, as, <laughs> we say, as soon as possible. Uh, yeah. uh, go. It will be very nice. Yeah. Uh, but uh, due to today's situation, would you like give us some uh, 10 more bonus time, 10 more minutes as bonus time? Because we have so many questions for you today. Uh, I'm here for you. Okay, no thank you. So I think one question is from a hospitality friend. He asked how you balance your design and the client's budget uh, when you do the hospitality project. 
again sorry again the question can you say again how you balance your design and uh, client's budget that means maybe design's budget Wait. client's budget is not there but yeah how you balance no. that? okay the, the the first things um uh, i'm dreaming uh, you will see i'm dreaming so the dream can be more expensive than the budget of the client but i like to do that and and uh, because uh, of course at the end we should respect the budget we should respect the scope and the schedule if all of these components is achieved you have the success of your project so the, the first part I ask my client to give me a budget and I'm doing the conceptual design. And on the conceptual design is a dream. And at this time, at this period, we do a preliminary budget to see if we are on the budget or over budget before to go further. That is the first thing. And if we are above the budget, it's two way. Is what is what we say value engineering? What is the way to reduce um, the, the, the design to be on the budget? So I make a proposal for that and to show the client and say, okay, this is what we would like to do, and you like that, but it's when we do the preliminary um, study of the budget, it's over budget. So we think what is the point we want to keep and what we can omit and we try to do that with the owner to study to be sure at the end we keep the spirit of the the the, the project so this is this is why i said my dream sometimes is more expensive than the budget but it's better because if you if you have no dream and you have under the budget sometimes you have no it's not good it's better to say yes this is what we want so we are going to fight to keep it what we want to keep and what we can to take off if it's necessary and, and also sometimes it's just we want to keep everything so we're going to fight with the contractors with everything to be sure they have the right price they have the right product it depends what i hope i understand answer the question yeah, but sometimes you also quit, right? <laughs> <laughs> you quit. Okay. So quit. <laughs> yeah. So since you have been 40 years start to establish this company, this form. So what's what's the what do you think what's the PYR's future? PYR, PYR future, you know, uh, we try for more than 10 years ready. To, to bring uh, the new generation of people. And on your question, you have the answer, PYR. I did the logo, PYR, 40 years ago, because my name is Pierre Rochon. When I did that, I was thinking, one day the people said PYR, and today, you said PYR. So that means the future of the, the PYR is on the way. And what I try to do today and to have all the people with the case, the senior directors working with me, and I think, I hope we have a DNA PYR, the way to work, the way to think, and I hope that will continue in the future. So you, you hope you know, your think, your thoughts will be carried on in the future. I hope so. I try to do my best for that. Because why today the, the owners coming to PYR? Because uh, we try to be different than the others competitor. Until today we're still French, but not only the, because we are French, because we are also American, uh, both, but the way, the DNA to, to have different type of design, the quality, all the words you, you, you told me, timeless, uh, 
uh, you know, all the things like that, that I try to every morning to, to inject to everyone, to the office. So this is why I think in the future they say, oh yes, TYI is good company. And after that, of course, maybe they will do better. Well, I hope so. So we talk about the future. What, what's the suggestion, what's the advice you give the young designers? I think they, for the wrong designer, uh, they sh the first thing, they should be sure they love to design. That's number one. Passionate. Passionate. You should be passionate. You should be curious. Um, should be humble. Uh, not, not, not cheat, you know. They should be full. They should love what they want. The, the, what they, the, the, is that the way? It should be passionate. I always said, but the design is my mistress. It is something true. So if they are not passionate about what they want, they need to do something. And if they have all this quality, if they work, work, work every day, they will. One, one day, it will be the time for them, I'm sure. Is a, is, and the, the world is, for the designer, we, we have so many things to do. The world is expanding so much. So they need just to be passionate, love what they're doing, and work. Okay, so we come to the last question. You got the uh, Creator Designer Awards last year. Uh, what do you evaluate your entire career time? I'm not, I'm not like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just, you are too humble to, to, to judge you. Know, <laughs> but it, it's true. It, it, it's true for me. Uh, you know, uh, what I like is two things. The first, when the people choose me for the new project, I'm, I'm so pleased. Oh, that, that's, the, 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 I don't know the reconnaissance in English. Um, that means uh, they choose me for my work and, and they please for that more than to have a award something like that but of course I'm pleased I'm pleased when you have about uh, to have the award that's is is more because the, the, the people give me the confidence to do one more more project so you that's mean you have uh, credits to your class right yes <laughs> 